Today we are going to build an AI hand that will detect and work on a hand gesture. When the hand gesture is detected it will move a mechanism that resembles a hand. The hand mechanism shall be driven by a servo motor and will perform a waving action. Let's get started. Take four two-hole elbows, two BO shafts, two five-hole beams, one MM couplers, one one-hole beam and join them together. Next take four five hole beams, two mm couplers, one one hole beam and join them together. Now join both these parts together. Now take two two-hole elbows, two one-hole beams and join them. Repeat this step three times with the same bricks to make three more parts like this. These parts will be the fingers. Attach one two-hole elbow to the second finger and one one-hole beam to the third one. Attach a two-hole elbow to the third finger and also to the fourth finger. Next, take four MM couplers. Attach them to the end of the fingers as shown. Take two MM couplers, one two-hole elbow and one one-hole elbow and join them. This will be our hand model's thumb. Take six MM couplers and attach them to the four fingers. Also, attach two BO shafts to the first and fourth finger. Take a 90 mm long axle and secure it to the BO shaft on the fourth finger. Now connect it to the first finger's BO shaft while passing it through the second and third fingers. Take one more 90mm long axle and pass it through all the fingers via their MM couplers. Take one BO shaft, one one hole elbow and one 30 mm small axle and join them. Attach this below the second finger. Now connect the fingers to the main hand structure via the axles.
check if the mechanism is moving properly. Also, attach the thumb as shown. Take two male axle couplers, one two hole elbow and one three hole elbow and join them. Now take two BO shafts, one 5 hole beam and one 30mm small axle and join them. Join the two parts together. Take the servo motor shaft connected to the servo shaft holder and connect it to this part. This part is for driving the hand mechanism. Attach it to the main structure as shown. Attach the servo motor to this part. The structure is now ready. Now is the time to assemble the logic of the mechanism. First connect the battery to the battery holder. Attach this to the base of the hand. Now take the AI vision blocks. Connect the power blocks to the AI blocks and servo blocks to port one of the AI blocks. Connect a blocks holder to the hand structure for attaching the blocks. Our mechanism is now ready. All that is left is to configure the AI blocks. First, we will see how to connect AI blocks to the internet. Turn on the power blocks. When AI vision receives power, it will create its own Wi-Fi network. This will be indicated with a blue light on the AI blocks. Now go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and connect the phone to the WITAI Vision Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi configuration page will automatically open up. Now go to configure Wi-Fi. The page will list down all available Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. and click on save. If the password is entered correctly, it will be indicated with a red slash green light on the AI blocks. Now connect your phone back to the internet using mobile data or Wi-Fi, not the AI Vision 1. Now comes the AI model training part. Go to ai.witblocks.com Click on the Visit App option and allow all authorizations. Now click on the Train option. Enter the unique code on your AI blocks and click Link. For the training part, enter Hand in Port 1. Once entered, Keep your hand in front of the camera and click train at least 20 times. Now enter background in port 2. Once entered, show a plain background in front of the camera and click train at least 20 times. Now when the hand is visible on the camera, the prediction on the AI site will show hand and the mechanism moves like a person greeting us. When you show the background it will predict, background, and stop the mechanism. Along with the prediction, the light on the respective port of the AI blocks will turn on. At a time, AI can detect only one object and trigger one output port. Our AI hand is now ready. Turn on the power blocks and voila our hand mechanism operates whenever it detects a person's hand. Once the hand is moved away from the camera, the hand detects the background and will be stopped. 
This type of mechanisms can be used to make human-computer interfaces, interactive humanoids, customer-facing systems, interactive pets like Spot etc.